Business as Usual is proud to present our show, Back to the Past. In this presentation, you will learn who our characters are, how our episodes apply to management, what our show is about, and who has contributed to the project. Our story begins with our main character, Mark. He is a highly motivated, middle-aged CEO that has given an amazing gift. Using a utilitarian approach, Mark decides to go back in time to change his life. Armed with the knowledge of how well the internet has done, Mark go goes back to make the greatest company ever. With his ability as a great leader and the knowledge of the future, he is sure to be successful. Mark's right-hand man and the connector he needs to grow the company is Dwayne. Dwayne is Mark's first employee after going back in time. He is highly social and very capable of gathering and using information to help the company. Along with his charismatic personality comes some great persuasive skills that he uses very well. While he is amazing at his job, Dwayne fails to see the bigger picture at times, which makes him and Mark a great team. The next employee on the team is Will. Will has a gift for computers and technology that helped him to attract Dwayne's attention even before he met Mark. While he is great at nearly anything technology related, Will lacks interpersonal skills and can have trouble relating with people at times. He is very productive at managing the technology department of the company and becomes a very crucial part of the company over time. Jack was hired by Mark and Dwayne to be the distribution manager of the company. He is a very efficient and determined manager. Jack helps the company grow quickly and with high customer satisfaction rates. He knows Hollywood better than almost anyone and is able to get things in and out very fast. When Jack sees a problem, he works hard to solve it and gets things working smoothly. This can backfire on him, however, in many cases. The warehouse manager is Kevin. Kevin is always prepared, organized, and a great multitasker. With his great conceptual skills, he's able to increase company productivity very well. While he is really good at cutting costs and making things run more efficiently, Mark has to ensure he operates ethically and fairly for more than just the stockholders. In the year 2018, Mark is given the opportunity to go back in time. He chooses to beat Amazon to the game and create a better company first. Mark travels back to 1995 to start a fulfillment company and become famous and rich. Along the way, he learns more about being a manager and meets people who are both good and bad managers. In our first episode, our main character, Mark, will arrive in Hollywood in the year 1995. While in 2018, Mark was able to make a plan so that when he came back to 1995, he'd be able to start his company. He knows who to get money from, where to make his warehouse, and what he needs to do to hire the right people. In episode two, Mark finally meets the first employee, Dwayne, after a week of interviews. Dwayne is exactly what Mark is looking for in a hiring manager and helps to fill the warehouse. Mark tells Dwayne his plans and how he wants to structure the company. They both agree that a centralized company is good and that a flat organizational structure will help empower the managers to make better decisions on their own. In episode three, Mark and Dwayne go through the process of hiring all the crucial members of the team. Taking all of Dwayne's advice, Mark meets with each candidate that Dwayne provides him. He first meets with Kevin, who is organized and be, would be more than capable of maintaining a warehouse full of products. Next, Mark meets with Will and tests him on his technology and computer capabilities. 
Will proves to be extremely capable of handling the current technologies as well as any future technologies that Mark knows will be coming soon. After meeting with Will, Mark meets with Jack to find out how well he is able to handle distribution. Mark finds through his process of testing and evaluating that Jack is extremely capable of handling a distribution section of the company and hires him immediately. In this episode, it's a year in the future. The company is running smoothly, customers are coming, everyone's doing well. The managers that Mark and Dwayne put in place are doing exceptionally well in their areas and the company is growing and growing and growing. During this time, Dwayne brings Mark an option to t steal a contract from Walmart. Mark knows that in the future, Walmart will have used that same contract to grow rapidly and become a supermarket monster. Mark knows that if he steals this contract from Walmart, he will undeniably change the fate of the future and is forced to make a decision on whether he will directly change the future or not. In the end, Mark decides to give Dwayne the authority to choose what is best for the company. Having just been forced to make a decision about Walmart and the ethics of stealing business from them. Mark realizes that going back in time has given him a unique opportunity to make the world a better place. He chooses that to invest in electric cars and to help reduce pollution and to improve the technology faster than it was in the future. He also decides to enforce a code of ethics that the company will be required to follow. On top of this, he has restructured the company's pay so that employees are able to make more money based off of their work. All of this he does through his managers. In this episode, Mark decides to mention to the other managers that he wants to expand to an entire global market. He discusses with all of the managers the different aspects of creating a global company, how he sees the company in the future, and tries to explain to them what he saw in the future as FedEx grew without giving away that he's from the future. They all discuss how difficult it can be to expand to another country and how they need to be careful on cult cultural norms, different rules, and to make sure that they hire people from the culture so that they can go about the process smoothly and without causing problems in other countries. 